If you like my videos, don't forget to follow me on social media to keep up to date with all the latest news regarding my channel and my content. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe below or at the end of the video. Don't forget to check out my brand new Amazon store, filled with recommendations on Blu-rays, DVDs, books and other media featured in my videos. Get ready for a very nutty review. Let's get into it. G'day guys, Dave Lee coming at you once again from Down Under with another movie review. In this video we'll be taking a look at the latest release from Toonbox Entertainment, Red Rover and Village Roadshow Distribution. Well, when I say latest, I mean for Australia, considering this opened up pretty much everywhere else in the world about five months ago. But to be honest, I don't care because Village Roadshow sent me tickets and I'ma review it. With a voice cast comprised of Will Arnett, Catherine Heigl, Maya Rudolph, Bobby Cannavale, Bobby Moynihan and Jackie Chan, it is the nut job 2, nutty by nature. In the first nut job, a bunch of animals including some squirrels, groundhogs, a rat, a pug and a mole took over an abandoned nut store to live off a life supply of nuts left in the store's cellar. Well, I'm kind of assuming that that's what happened considering I, uh, I actually haven't seen the first one. Never watched it. But that's, that's kind of what I took from the preface of this movie. So, if I'm wrong, then... I don't think it really matters all that much. In the nut job 2, nutty by nature, I'm never gonna get tired of saying that name, after Mole forgets to turn the boiler off in the cellar, the nut store explodes, giving the animals no choice other than to return to Liberty Park across the road. However, once the animals settle back into their primitive life, their world is once again rocked. When a fat cat billionaire industrialist decides to buy up the parkland and turn it into a shoddy amusement park, all the while eradicating the animal inhabitants using whatever means necessary. Rising up against the greedy corporation, the animals decide to fight back and attempt to once again gain control of their land. Sound familiar? Yep, I thought so. Nut Job 2 isn't so much an original movie, but sort of a rehash of an age-old tale that we have seen many, many times over. I'm not just talking about in animation, I'm talking about in movies in general. I mean, even The Simpsons did this storyline multiple times. So that being said, watching this movie, I kind of couldn't help but feel like I've already watched this one before, when obviously I haven't, but I have, if, if that makes sense. But despite that, this is not a movie that's aimed towards myself or really an adult audience. This is a movie that is purely for the kids. And that said, the unoriginality of this movie doesn't really bother me all that much. At the core of this movie is actually a, a pretty innocent heart. It doesn't have an agenda, it doesn't attempt to change the world, and it doesn't try to be more than what it is. All it tries to do is be a fun ride for the kids, and offer some morales and life lessons along the way. Uh, in a way, it almost feels as if sort of a modern take on Aesop's fables. And while that is pretty predictable and pretty much overdone, for the kids, they'll, they'll sort of be none the wiser. And for me, uh, it just doesn't bother me. And at that, this movie sort of feels very self-contained. It has a self-contained arc. Uh, I feel like not having seen the first one wasn't really a hindrance on my experience at all. This could have really easily been the first instalment in this franchise, if you want to call it that. I mean, what would they call the third one? Nut Job 3, Let's Get Nutty. I'd, I'd probably see that. This movie doesn't really offer up too many memorable moments or memorable lines and sort of whatever comedy or humour is in the movie is really aimed strictly for the kids and once again is just very innocent. Uh, there's no like adult jokes, adult innuendos or anything in here. And while I felt that that worked really really well for the recent Paddington 2 movie, I kind of felt more cringeworthy and predictable in this one. I I can't I can't explain the difference, but there was a ver there was a very different sort of feel to the the charm of Paddington and then 
to whatever nut job 2 was. Even the characters in this didn't really feel all that memorable to me, but once again maybe that just simply is because I haven't watched the first one and haven't allowed myself to have that emotional connection to them, but honestly I, ju I don't think that's the case. I, they just weren't memorable characters and even the vocal performances didn't feel that energetic, didn't feel like the, the actors were really trying to breathe an amazing life into the characters. They could have literally just been recorded over the phone, really. The animation in this movie, even though it's it's fairly nice to look at and really colourful, it's nothing groundbreaking. To me, it almost felt like sort of early 2000s animation, sort of like what you'd expect to see in The Incredibles or like Over the Hedge or something like that. But again, there's just really nothing wrong with that. It's it's nice to look at, but again, it's in in this day and age, it's just, it's nothing special. This isn't going to be a movie that I remember in years to come. In fact, I'm not sure I'm even going to really remember this tomorrow, but maybe that's kind of the point. And for that, I just simply don't care. This isn't a movie for me. The core audience of this movie should enjoy it a decent amount, but that's the only job that this movie sets out to do, and that's entertain the kids. And I think it does that fairly well. While what I've said in this review might spell disaster for some movies, might enrage me in other movies, in this one, again, I just don't care. This movie has kind of given me a really odd feeling that I feel like I don't feel in movies all that much. I didn't hate it and I didn't love it. In fact, I'm not sure if I even liked it or really even disliked it. I just kind of saw it. This movie isn't bad. It isn't good either. It just is. I'm even finding it really hard to give this movie a rating. I feel that two and a half nuts out of five is maybe a little too generous, but then I'm feeling like two nuts out of five maybe isn't generous enough because this movie really does just do the job that it sets out to do. So I feel like maybe I'm gonna find a mid ground here and give the nut job to Nutty by Nature a very peculiar two and a quarter nuts out of five. That's an adult's rating. For the kid audience, however, I would maybe put maybe, just very, very maybe, only just push it to a three nuts out of five. I wouldn't, I wouldn't push it any further. I feel like maybe that's even, even a, a little too generous, but that's the kids rating, three and a half nuts out of five. I think the kids should enjoy this movie. Take the nut job do, nutty by nature, at face value, a movie for kids. Don't go in expecting to love it because you'll just be disappointed. I went in without any sort of expectations and I, I'm just sort of indifferent. The nut job too, nutty by nature, is in cinemas Australia wide right now and over in the US it's already on home media. So if, if you do want to see it, just nip down to your local Best Buy or jump on Amazon and you can get yourself a copy. Once again, thanks so much to my wonderful friends over at Village Roadshow Entertainment for providing me with in-season passes to check out The Nut Job 2, Nutty by Nature. I was right, I never get tired of saying that name. If you're a first time viewer of my channel and you've liked this review and you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future, then please, at the end of the video, hit that big old subscribe button up on the screen and give me a little bit of support. To all my regular viewers out there, thank you once again for joining me. And to absolutely everybody out there, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does a great deal in getting my videos out there. And I hope I'll see you all again soon. Until next time though guys, take care and I hope you have a very nutty day. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, okay.